Terrific comeback for Atlanta to go to 2-0 today. As we go through the season, I think the culture starts to change, the energy, all of that, you know, coming out and getting two really good wins at home and saying everything that you said is going to happen in the offseason and then finally getting it to realize and happen in real time and get to see it unfold and, you know, first game, Jesse goes off. Bates has another interception. Second game, huge comeback against Green Bay. Once you start picking up wins like that, it starts steamrolling. Going into this next game, you know, game three against Detroit, it's just a... Uh, just a feeling of confidence, a feeling of uh, excitement, swagger, and um, you know you really gotta, you know, bring your A game against these guys. Will come today to Detroit. Winners of five of the last seven games in the series, they have split the last four played. Going to go on the road is always an exciting feat, you know. And to go into a hostile environment, you know, to see how the team respond, and I think it's gonna be good for us going forward. But we definitely gotta be ready to go compete. They gotta build off grit, you know. They're tough. They always been tough at the end of the day. It's going to be a battle up front. I'm excited about it, but uh, you guys made the right stuff, man. They played the football the right way. The last time Atlanta went to 3 0, and it was a win in week three against the Lions all the way back in 2017. The Falcons are in a white jersey with black pants. bring Atlanta offensively out on the field for the first time. Desmond Ritter with his Ford Field crowd barking at him. First down and 10 for Atlanta and it's 22. Bajan Robinson is the stand up back. He'll slip it to Robinson on the left side. Robinson made one man miss. He'll crawl up to the 29 yard line. Here's the third down play. Ritter quick throw. Algier near side. Anzalone follows him out there and pulls Algier down at the 29. Atlanta will go three and out. Here's Goff taking the snap, looking, throws Laporta, the tight end, the catch. He'll be taken down at the 18, and Atlanta forces Detroit three and out. Crowd is roaring here at Ford Field. Can you speak to how loud and like what that fan base is like in Detroit? Yeah, they they, they were excited. <laughs> they were they were passionate. They have something there that they are excited about. And um, you know, my dad played for Detroit for nine years, so. Uh, you know, seeing them have that excitement, it's awesome. And going into an environment like that is, um, you know, just makes you even more excited to play a game that you love. Be important now for Dez here on the road, crowd noise, all those type of things. The New Orleans trip, his first start, and then Baltimore. Doesn't get any tougher than those two trips. Third down and seven for Atlanta. Quick snap, Ritter looks. Now going to shoot it downfield. London comes back and makes a terrific grab right in front of the Lion bench and over the top of Jonesboro's Cameron Sutton for a first down. Play fake to Robinson. Here's Ritter under duress. He'll be sacked. And taking him down is Benito Jones. Pretty raucous crowd here early on here in Detroit. Third and very long for Atlanta. Here's Ritter from the pocket, trying to get away, cannot. This time with Derek Barnes, back-to-back -back sacks of Desmond Ritter. First down, they're gonna hand to Robinson, trying to ride a block of Hodge. Pajan keeps his feet and ends up 10 yards down the field. Tied at three with 11.32 to go first half. There's some new energy yep. in this city with this team. 45-yard touchdown pass. Jared Goff to the Iowa rookie, Sam Laporta. Now the Lions lead the Falcons by a score of 10 to three. One second into the third period. Falcon defense forced a three and out by the Lions. Play fake to Algier. Ritter gonna check it to Tyler. He'll make a move here at the near side. 45 pounds off branch. And then Algier cracks inside the 35 to the Detroit 33. Dan Campbell said this week, gotta watch out for 25. He runs in your face. And that's what Tyler Algier just did. Third and 10 at the 18. Here's Goff looking again to throw. Up in the pocket, cuts it loose, intercepted Jesse Bates at the 43-yard line. It's Bates' third pick of the year, and there's your turnover. Come on, man. Come on. Snap, Detroit brings four, Ritter throws, and overshoots London incomplete. You know, anytime you lose, it's tough. Um, but it's, it's also a, hopefully a point where you can just reflect on um, what you individually are doing well and not doing well, and um, also what you as a team are doing well and not doing well. And you know, the great teams do that with wins and losses. Um, but at the same time, any loss is going to sting a little more and hopefully forces a little bit more self reflection on how you, in your process weekly, but also you, uh, in your process during the game, what you're doing during the game, how can you, um, you know, do your 111th, do your part uh, for every play. Atlanta's going to go to London now at 2 and 1. 
Final here today in Detroit. The Lions 20 and the Falcons 6. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a rude awakening, uh, more so just a test. Um, and, and obviously, you know, we went out there and failed that test. So, uh, you know, we were prepared. Um, we just came out and, you know, we, we didn't get anything going. So um, it wasn't like, you know, we went out there and, uh, you know, we were just shocked by what happened. Uh, you know, we obviously didn't go out there, you know, wasn't executing well enough. Um, and that, that's where the end result comes to. We just need to be on our, on our P's and Q's and, and get everything right for in order for us to win those games against a gritty team like that. It's never as good as it seems, never as bad as it seems. So um, the, the, you just have to be objective. And so we're going to go through there tomorrow and make our corrections and, you know, get our mind right for Jacksonville. Just remember this feeling, man. Just remember it. We got to do, we do more and, uh, and we will. They're going to go on the big time road across the pond to London, which we all know this is nothing new. Like this is the new NFL making excuses about the travel, the trip. Guess what? Both teams got to fly over. Some of the things that you think about for Atlanta to get back on track facing Jacksonville. Uh, I think it comes back to the things you did well in the first couple games, which was run the football. You got a guy who played here for a while, who we know really well, yeah. who is a playmaker in Calvin Ridley. They got to go out and they got to play their style. They got to play their game. I think it's all about kind of just handling the mistakes that you had last week and not allowing them to fester into week two. It's how are you going to handle that um, transition as best as you can so that you can get out there and try to keep everything else football, football. Try to keep it as the same as, same as you can. Well, I think it's really cool for the, you know, the game of football to see the stadium filled up on Sunday. Um, and just all, all different people wearing different jerseys and just having fun, having a good time. Um, I'm, I'm excited to get to get this out there. And we need to be the desperate team. We need to start, we need to start faster, we gotta play clean and we need to operate better. As hard as you can every single snap, um, you know, it's gonna be who wants it more. Who's finishing? Who's finishing in the fourth quarter? Who's finishing on the first play? Um, you know, those will be the guys who and the team who will be successful at the end of the day. We welcome you to Wembley Stadium. Third time Atlanta's been here nine years ago. A loss to Detroit two years ago. Not nearly as many people here on the tail end of the pandemic in 2021. Let's go, This is a business trip, and we are here to win a football game. If you want to come here and you want to do all that stuff, do that in the off season. Yes, sir. Let's get it, man. Uh, uh, uh. Get it. It's Robinson at the 10, tried to make a guy miss, and he did, and we'll get close to the first down. Lawrence play fake, wants to keep it, and he will throw it away because no. he was getting ready to be sacked no. by Calais Campbell. No! He did a good job of getting rid of the ball. Lawrence wants to throw under duress, breaks the pocket, now will loop to the end zone. Calvin Ridley for the touchdown. Keep playing ball, keep ball. Don't let that one It starts with me jump starting up the offense early. Ritter looking to throw, and he got brought down by the former number one pick, Trayvon Walker. Put ourselves in a hole again. Quick shot looking oh, from different. London. It's intercepted. Different reasons, but the reality is Darius Williams. Put ourselves in a hole. And he will score. And we can't turn the ball over. And so that's something we all got to look at. And it's not just one person, but we got to do a better job early in games. There's no doubt about it. Ritter from under center, hands to Bajon. Tried to hit the cut, back dead. Here goes Robinson, 40, 45. Mack Hollins is out in front. Can he cut Williams on the far side? No, and he slips out of bounds. Thankfully, in the third quarter, we're able to do something to jumpstart. Pressure coming. Desmond going to throw for Drake. London caught it. Was he in? Sure he was. And London has scored in London. You're going to make life hard on yourselves when you, when you put yourself behind like that. Get back in there, just be able to take control of the game plan. Um, go in there, lead these guys, you know, don't create no division. Just go out there, be a leader. Uh, be who I'm supposed to be and just get better at the end of the day. Third turnover of the day and essentially in the Falcons' last threat, they'll be coming back to Atlanta for two games and trying to get right after two tough losses here. The final at Wembley Stadium, the Jaguars 23 and the Falcons 7. There's going to be times where you should, you're going to say woulda, coulda, shoulda. You know, they didn't beat us, we beat ourselves. And so just looking back at, you know, each loss, you know, if we take look back and they're both reflection points, points where you got to say, all right, do this a little better next time, do this a little better next time, stop doing this. Uh, it'll pay off in the long run. It's been great energy. It's been great energy. We definitely want to uh, get back going on a positive note, trying to win some games. And, um, you know, but we, we got the guys built for it, built to respond and uh, do what we got to do to go out there and compete. You know, now we're on to Houston. Um, they're feeling hot, coming off a good couple wins, um, you know, playing as a team. Um, and so we know that we're, you know, it's going to be great competition. We're going to have to show up and play our game. Now we know that it doesn't matter home or away. Like we got to come in with the same energy uh, 
in, in both atmospheres, no matter where we're at, because it's not going to change. So we got to be the ones to change that and to change how we come out and execute um, as an offense so we can you know, even help out the defense and the whole team. My thing is, is like this Houston Texans game for the last few years, you were to circle this game and be like, all right, that, w. Yeah, w, automatic. But this Houston Texans team is coming into Atlanta, probably feeling as good as they've felt in a long time. They got wide receivers if they use them. Uh, I don't think they want to, I don't think they're trying to pass the ball. They're trying to out physical teams and run the ball. And so we're we going to have a tough, tough test. My hand is stopping, you know, stopping them from running the ball. What do you got to say to people and players in the league that don't think that you can push them off for the ball? We want to do whatever it takes to win. Whatever that means, run the ball 100 times or throw it 100 times. And no matter what we're going to do, we're going to do what's best for the team and uh, just go out there and win the game. At the end of the day, you know, no one really cares about the stats or whatever it may be. Um, but, you know, everyone cares about whether it's a win or a loss. For the last two years, Arthur Smith has made a point to not just the media, but to the players themselves that, like, we want to make Mercedes-Benz a place that people fear coming and playing in. We want to be good at home. That's something we very viciously care about is being good at home. Keep the pressure on the entire NFC South. Atlanta's in the all-black today, head to toe. Texans have gone stormtrooper on us. White jerseys, white pants. Spectacular day here in Atlanta. Roof open. Yep. Let's play some football. Fair barn to the football, and away we go. End over end kick. Patterson will come up and field it at the two. Start at the numbers on the 10, middle of the field 15. CP dumped over at the 17. Here's Ritter, quick toss. This is Robinson right side. Bijan is spun around to about the 15-yard line. Ritter will look to throw for the first time today. Shoots it here to the near side and tried to get it to London. Here is the rookie from Ohio State, C.J. Stroud. The second pick of the draft. He'll look left, throw Schultz. He'll work up the seam, but it's a... Texans first down at the 28-yard line. They're going to hand to Pierce. He'll fold back fourth down. Got hit by Bud Dupree. Really good stop there on third and short. It forced Houston into a field goal opportunity. Now you got to come out with some energy now here on offense. They're going to double reverse to Drake London. London going to throw, and it's caught. And it's Jonu Smith again. How about that? All the way down to the 38-yard line. Desmond's going to keep it left side. He's going to follow Mack Hollins to the pylon. Touch down Atlanta. A great block to pave the way for Desmond Ritter's second rushing score of the year. Coming into this week, it was huge for us uh, to be able to go in there and start fast. Ten hands to Pierce, and look what happened. Agent Zero fires into the backfield, and Atlanta again with D. Alford leading the run pursuit gets him on the ground for a loss. Yeah, this defense is huge. Obviously, you know, they've played great the past, you know, basically the entire season. They do a great job of uh, keeping everything underneath, obviously not getting beat too deep, not giving up many explosives, um, and just finishing and attacking. Here in Atlanta, Falcons have a one-point lead on the Texans. Wants to throw, Campbell coming after him. Now Landon, they'll put it up for grabs, and it's incomplete. Really good pressure by Atlanta. With protection, going to try and spin it. It's Keith Smith, good heavens. And you Smith wanna... caught a bullet. That was a laser from Ritter to Smith. Going to hand the ball to Algier. He's got the first down. Ritter going to shoot it for Pitts, first down. A terrific by number eight. Now, important drive, obviously, for Atlanta defensively. Robert Woods out near the 24-yard line. It'll be a gain of 13. For Stroud straight in the pocket. He'll step up, throw, look for Dell. Rolling catch of it at the Atlanta 30. Here's Stroud trying to throw, and it got batted away. Ooh, big Grady got one of his big paws in the air and said, you shall not pass. 28-yard drive for Fairburn. Well, Houston has gained the lead with three seconds to play. Going to hand the ball to Robinson. Fires off the left side. Bajan around the edge, 25 first down. They're going to hand it to him one more time. Pushes that left edge. Ball is out, says Houston. Texans say it's out. D'Amico Ryan says it's out. So Atlanta, after the turnover and only surrendering the field goal, will start first and 10 of his 25 and trail five. Desmond up in the pocket, going to zip it. Oh, what a catch. It got knocked away by Smith. And another Atlanta turnover. Petrie's come up with the fumble. Second turnover of the day on Atlanta. Crowd wants to throw. Batted in the air and almost intercepted. Now the fumble does not haunt Atlanta. The old adage, something's got to give here in the fourth. Ritter, play fake to Robinson, going to roll, shoot it here. Michael Pruitt, first down at the 20, keeps his feet inside the 10. Big eight, five, taking him to the five, first and goal. Here's Ritter, 
Shovel, Robinson caught it off his hip, and he scores! Standing with the shovel pass. Oh my, he pinned it on his back hip. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. The snap of the ball, I saw the, the D-line kind of shot across Chris's face, kind of opened up a big gap and gave it to the shovel to Bijan. Bijan made a great play, uh, made a guy miss, and obviously got points on the board. Arch Falcons have gotten the lead at a point. Two-point try, Desmond runs to his right, going to shoot it, Algier caught it, there's the two-point play. Intercepted nearly by Bates. Ritter going to take a shot for London, who makes an incredible catch. 6'5", London goes up the ladder and makes a big-time grab with Nelson ripping at his arm. Kick is up. And it is good. Atlanta lead has grown to six, 18 to 12, but still work to be done. Falcons want to get to three and two. Here's Stroud putting it up. Schultz, touchdown. You know, you talk about efficiency, and I think another word you would talk about is poise. Um, you know, we had a minute 49 with three timeouts left to go. Um, and in the NFL, you know, that's an eternity. That's a long time. We work those two minute drills every single day since, you know, OTAs when we first got here. So that's something that we're real comfortable with. And obviously in those pressure situations, we want to be at our most comfortable and, uh, you know, kind of have our bodies going fast, but our minds moving slow. And I felt like that's what everyone was doing. And we were just taking what the defense gave us. These are the moments you practice all the time in practice. You run two minute virtually every day in practice. Kind of those moments that are the character builders and maybe legend builders. Another one-handed catch by Bajan Robinson. Second and four. Ritter again throws, caught London. Forward progress should have that as a first down, and it is. Stay calm now. Pumps now going to run to his left. Desmond going to get to the far side and get out of bounds at the 41. That'll stop the clock with 119 to go. Just know that you don't have to try to force anything. You know, it's not like there was 10 seconds left. We got to go like 75 yards. You have plenty of time, you know, letting them go work. First down and 10, the ball at the 47. Here's another one, that's Pitts near midfield. He took the shot from Nelson. Atlanta doing a really good job of staying calm, keeping their poise. Ritter running the show. 57, 56, 55. Desmond going to look. Sail it. That's London. First down at the 27 of Houston. Texans are going to take a timeout with 47 seconds left. You know, you get down there towards the end, and then you know we have the best kick in the league. Here's Ritter going to hand to Algier, left side. Tyler will dive, close to another first down. 41 seconds left to go in the game. They're going to let the clock run. Crowd cooing here. Not booing, friends, cooing. Young Way Koo is going to try and win the game for Atlanta on the final snap. Down, kick is away. It is perfect. 21-19 the final. Young Way Koo kicks the game winner for the Falcons, who go to 3-2 and two on the year. 3-0 and oh at home. And Arthur Smith has now won six of his last seven inside Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Well, if there were any questions about this kid at quarterback, he has stood up big time today. He's got 28 completions for 329 yards and none bigger than that throw he made to London with everything on the line. I think what you saw today, two pretty good young quarterbacks. Defense played well all day. That's what good teams do. You find a way. We had our timeouts. You practice those situations. He was about as cool as you can, you can see. They executed the plan, took control of the situation, and then when he needed to deliver one, we, we got the look we wanted. He did, and, and Drake came down with it and essentially ended the game. And then who comes out? We got the most clutch kicker in the league. We go home with a win.